Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today we're gonna talk about one of the best portrait lenses made for the Sony full frame E-mount system the Sony 135mm f1.8 G Master lens. Now this video is gonna focus specifically on photography and for photo shoots, I can easily say this is my favorite lens to shoot with. It's a prime lens with a medium telephoto focal length that creates beautiful images. First and foremost, let's talk about what this lens excels in and that's beautiful bokeh. The separation between the subject and the background is extremely pleasing with a beautiful fall off. Currently, I'm using this lens to film this video, and right now it's about 13, maybe 12 feet away from me. And the background, my actual studio here, is actually really close to me. I'm only about maybe two and a half feet away from my speaker here, and you can see how much blur it has. Now, when you are further away from your background, the pop is even better. Now, here throughout the video, you're going to see a bunch of photos that I've taken with this lens and using the Sony A7C. With the wide aperture of f1.8 and the tight focal length of 135mm, the subject really pops. Now this lens can be used for a lot of different shooting scenarios, but for portraits, it's incredible. It has an aperture range of f1.8 to f22 and has a rounded 11 blade diaphragm. Wide open at f1.8, it's crazy sharp. It has some noticeable vignetting and the corners are not as sharp as the center at f1.8, but it's not a big difference. Also at f1.8, the bokeh closer to the edges has a little bit more of the cat eye shape. But when you stop down to f2.5, f2.8, the vignetting is almost fully gone, the corners are sharper, and the bokeh is more rounded. With this lens, I pretty much shoot exclusively at 1.8. Stopping down does give some slight improvements as it does with pretty much every other prime lens, but honestly, at f1.8, it's superb, and I would highly recommend shooting at f1.8 as the image, the quality, the sharpness, everything is gorgeous. The focus to out-of-focus transition is buttery smooth, and the area that's in focus is so crisp and detailed. And everything just has this beautiful pop to it. Another area that this lens really thrives is autofocus. It's really fast, snappy, and very accurate for both video and photo. Now let's talk about the construction and build. The lens is pretty large, a bit heavy, but compared to other 135mm lenses, it's actually smaller than most. It's up to par with other G Master lenses in regards to build quality and weather sealing. It's a beautiful looking lens and it's very robust. It has a declickable aperture ring, two focus buttons, and a focus distance switch that allows you to choose three different settings to help improve the performance of the autofocus depending on the distance of the subject. The lens also has a nano AR coating, which helps to reduce surface reflections, flaring, and ghosting. And honestly, in my shoots, I haven't really noticed any of those. There's also very minimal to no noticeable chromatic aberrations. And it has fluorine coating on the front glass to help resist dust, moisture, and fingerprints. The front of the lens has an 82 millimeter filter thread and has a pretty long lens hood. Now the lens is pretty pricey at 2,100 US dollars. Pretty expensive, but honestly, if you can afford it, it's the lens that I would highly recommend for portraits, especially if you're outdoors or you have a lot of space. It is a very tight lens, so if you're shooting indoors or in small tight spaces, it's not the lens that I would recommend as you're not gonna have a lot of flexibility. But if you're a serious portrait shooter, this is probably the best lens you can get at the moment for the Sony full frame E-mount system. There really isn't anything to complain about when it comes to this lens. I highly recommend it, and if you're interested in getting it, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Also on this channel, I do photo shoot videos with models. I do have a few videos with this lens being used. So if you guys want to see those, I do have a link in the description for that playlist of videos. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.